All right, you're live. So this is the application of the declension chance from your chant chart, starting with D1, the definition of declension. To decline a noun is to list a noun with all of its endings. So first, we need to find the stem, D2. How do you find the stem of a noun? You take the AE, the I, or the IS off the genitive singular. So I'll show all three of these. If you have female friend, amika, amikai, you take the AE off the genitive singular. And there's your stem. If you have the second declension, male friend, amicus, amici, you take the I off the genitive singular. And there's your stem. These are similar words, obviously, but don't let that deceive you. Next, if you had a third declension word, like father, pater, patris, You take the IS off the genitive singular. And by the way, you can see why we take it off the genitive singular, not the nominative, because the nominative doesn't have the right stem, whatever you did to it. Okay, so those are our stems. This video is going to focus on the first declension. And I'm going to flip my board and we'll build our declension scaffold. So, D for declension in the corner. Then I'm going to box the D and continue the lines all the way to the end of my paper. Then I use my chant. Five cases. Nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, ablative. I'll start with the ablative at the bottom because I found it helps you space it out well. Then the first up at the top is nominative, slide back down to the bottom, above the ablative is accusative, slide back up to the top, after nominative is genitive, and then the third case right in the middle is dative, and then I'll box those. As we said in class, there's too many things that will have to go in each box to do singular and plural. So one side will be singular and the other will be plural. Start with the singular right now. So if you're wondering how you would find these stems, that brings us to D3. D3, in a dictionary you will always, almost always, find two forms, the nominative singular and the genitive singular. So 
we're taking our first declension stem, going back to the declension scaffold, onto D4. The stem and the dash. The stem and the dash. Hi ho the derio the stem and the dash The plural gets it too etc. Now we have the Latin time for the English D five write the basic meaning kitty corner. We know that amica, amicae, means female friend. I'm not going to write all of that in there. I'll just write an F in parentheses for female. And I'm writing a kitty corner from the stem. So that's D5. D6, English needs articles, A and the. So I like to use A in the singular because that's the only place you can use it and it's good to practice. So we'll have a friend, a friend, a friend, a friend, a friend. Next, three out of the five cases can be translated uh, with an English preposition. So that brings us to D7. If there isn't a preposition to translate it into English, then I'll just say blank. Nominative blank. Genitive of. Dative to, for, accusative blank. Ablative by, with, from. So nominative blank. Genitive of. Dative to or for. Accusative, blank, ablative, by, with, or from. That's D7. Then we have our endings to add. And the endings you add depend on which declension you're in. We know that this is amica amicae and that that is first declension so we'll have the first declension endings ah uh, i i um ah uh, first declension singular i arum is as is first declension plural so uh, now I'll apply it ah uh, i i um, ah, uh, first declension singular. Pause. We'll go on to the plural. But let's just put this all together since we've done so much um, building piece by piece. Amica, a friend. 
amica, amicai, of a friend, amicai, amicai, to, for, a friend, amicai, amicam, a friend, amicam, amica, by, with, from, a friend, amica. And this is one of the few cases where the spelling with a long mark or a macron over the A is very helpful, so I will include that. Let's do the plural. I better practice what I preach. and do the plural on the other side. Got my stem anyway. So, I'll erase this. And here we go. Drawing my declension scaffold. Adding the cases. Ablative below, nominative up top, accusative above ablative, genitive below the nominative, dative in the middle, boxing it. This is the plural. Now since it is the plural, something's going to happen when we write the English, but let's add the stems right now. D4. The stem and the dash. The stem and the dash. Hi ho the derio. The stem and the dash. Write the basic meaning, kitty corner. So since this is plural, we need to do that. D6. English needs articles, a and the. The is the only one that will work with the plural English word. So that's D6. D7, the prepositions. Nominative, blank, genitive, of, dative, to, for, accusative, blank, ablative, by, with, from. Now we can add the first declension plural endings, but I'll start from the beginning with the singular endings. Ah, I, I, um, ah, first declension singular. I, arum. 
is pass is first declension plural. Let's put it all together. Amikai, the friends, amikai. Amikarum, of the friends, amikarum. Amikis, two for the friends, amikis. Amikas, the friends, amikas. Amikis, by with from the friends, amikis. So that's how we apply the declension chants for the first declension. With the second and third declensions, almost everything is the same. It's just the endings that change. 